Hi folks, and welcome back to the Old Hammered Inner Sanctum. So when we post battle report videos on our YouTube channel, one of the most common questions we get, other than who made that terrain and who made that game mat, is where did you get those tokens? So just for fun, I thought I'd show you some of our go-to game tokens and let you know where they came from in case you're suffering from chronic token deficiency. Probably the most common game status markers that we use are these little wooden dots from Chessex because they come in five different colors and they're pretty small, so you can use them for activation tokens, wound tokens, all kinds of things. So Chessex calls these round wooden game markers, and I went onto their website just about a week or so ago to see if they were still selling them, and they are. You get a bag of 50 tokens for a buck and a half. While I was on the Chessex website buying some extra wooden markers because they were so cheap, I also got a quarter pound bag of what they call flat plastic beads. So this was $3.50 for kind of a mixed bag of stuff, I guess. It's a bit of a hodgepodge, but there's some good stuff in there. Discontinued games are also a good source of cheap tokens. Sometimes games go to a newer edition or are discontinued altogether. And oftentimes the tokens, especially if they're sold separately, will then go on clearance. So we have some tokens here from uh, War Machine and Hordes, All Quiet on the Martian Front. I think these are from Dust Tactics. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. Sometimes your window of opportunity can be pretty short, though. When the Sons of Anarchy Cable Series wrapped up, the Sons of Anarchy board game went on sale on places like Amazon and such. So we picked one up because we wanted to use these plastic motorcycles for gas lands. They're just about the right size for that. Unfortunately, though, I think everybody had the same idea, so they started snapping up copies. And now it's pretty hard to find a copy of the Sons of Anarchy board game. You still can, but it's not on clearance anymore. It's selling at collector's prices. Here are some very generic game tokens from Fantasy Flight Games. The date on this package is 2009, but you can still find these on Amazon for about four bucks. After the wooden dots from Chessex, I'd have to say that our favorite game tokens are the status markers from Wiley Games, publisher of Fistful of Lead, Galactic Heroes, and a lot of other tabletop skirmish games. You can get a mixed bag of tokens from the Wiley Games website for seven bucks, which is a pretty good deal. You can also get a bag of 10 specific tokens, like these shock markers here, for just $3.50 which is a screaming deal, plus they're kind of fancy, so yeah, they are highly recommended. I should also mention that Litco sells a ton of game tokens as well as other gaming accessories. Many of them are meant to be game specific, but a lot of them are generic enough that you could use them for almost anything. Also, you can just hop onto Amazon and search for game tokens or game markers. I think these are bingo chips, and I think I got a hundred of them for less than eight bucks, so they're pretty inexpensive. But if you want to keep things really cheap, remember that Dollar Tree and the Thrift Store are your friend. Okay, well that's a quick look at some tokens for tabletop miniature wargaming or other tabletop games. Why do I need so many tokens? Well, that is an unanswerable question. You might as well just ask gamers why they need so many dice. Maybe we just like shiny things. Alright, I guess that's a wrap on today's spectacular token video. So wherever you are, I hope the gremlins are under control. Keep on keeping on, and we'll see you next time.